doing a podcast, beyond doing is doing your life because this is a reflection of your life. If you put excuses for something as small as this, trust me, you're putting excuses for your home future and you're playing yourself. Yeah, I like that. Like the actual setup. I didn't even like. Oh, it's a setup. I was no, like, no, no. I'll talk about the actual setup. Like a table with yeah. lights and a microphone and a what is a rabbit thing called? The the microphone. No, what's the rabbit thing called? Oh, a pop filter. A pop filter. It's for like you know. It, it's funny that thing. Pop. is supposed to be for pop. like yeah for like like wind and stuff like that like to cancel it but you don't really like. I mean, we don't have wind here. We just have a bunch of planes. But you can still hear like a lot of background stuff. Well, I'm sorry, dude. I'm just saying, like, it's not, you, you know. don't have the microphone right here, so you can I want the it. mics, yo, the mics right here. Oh, look, I saw that setup today, and it looks fresh. See? Uh, Chad, we started a new leadership podcast. Mm -hmm. Pretty dope. Uh, oh, but they probably got, like, good mics. And, like, oh, yeah, like, for sure. Really, all right, that's different. No, I'm but talking about, I've actually been buying like some that. mics. That I, I like that get. setup. Hold I like the setup. I thought it was great. All right, y'all. It's a good stretch right here. Look. You see the setup? The two mics, personal. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They'll mix in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Simple. See, see it's, it, it works though because they have the natural lighting mm -hmm. and they actually like in the uh -huh. skyscraper. We're in the hood. So natural lighting doesn't really exist in the hood. Yeah, it's just naturally like, dark. <laughs> yeah, there's no natural light in the hood. Because there's and, no hope. It's a shame and sadness. And this room is about like, I mean, as big as like a $1,200 a month apartment in LA, which is like, Fucking sad as shit, if you know what that is. Yeah. And you know, like, there's not, you know, it's cool though. I kind of like this, man. You know, I've been thinking, about, I'm gonna, we're gonna start a series called Mom's Basement or something like that. Just because every guy or everybody who starts something is in their parents' garage no, or their parents', parents basement. No. The yeah. basement is usually losers who never actually do anything with their lives. Yeah, but I mean, in the garage, like maybe, but not in, no, no, no. I heard, I heard Jason, garage. like rock no. bands, so garage, like, garage, yeah, garage, garage. Basements. garage. Like jobs, garage. Okay, Bill but, Gates, why not, garage. but why not mom's basement? Like, because that's for a loser. Losers. Like a 40-year-old loser who just plays video games. Okay. What if what if you're doing this and you're 40 years old and you get nothing out of this? Uh, I'm a, I'm, but I already know I'm a loser. I'm just not living in my mom's basement. <laughs> that's what I mean. All right, so I could be living in the penthouse. I still want to call it mom's basement. I, if I can call it uh, dad's garage? No. Well, the fuck? <laughs> uh, call it something like... But what does it to be like maternal well, or paternal? Okay, well, this, we okay, like, well, like there's a the point. There's a point I'm trying to make. Though. The point I'm trying to make is... Can we call it something like deep, of, like groundbreaking garage? No, because I, I want it to be like... Okay, look. There's a thing. So I think the problem that a lot of people have... Is that you have before, boxers on. That's the problem. First of all, let's get one thing out of the way, bro. These are fresh old swim trunks. Those are boxers. Yo, these things, look, I ain't gonna lie, I, I don't got the legs for these. <laughs> Those I, are boxers. No, lad, I don't really got the Those legs for these. Boxers. 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 What do you mean boxers? Briefs. I've seen Hanks on the same ones. You've seen me wear these before. Hanks. Hanks are the same one. You've seen me wear these before. Hanks are the same one. Hanks don't got, you crazy. Yeah. Same no, boxers. I don't got no same Hanks boxers. boxers. Same boxers. I don't got no Hanks boxers. Hanks boy. is the same boxers. Nah, look, look. I don't know, the same boxers. Calvin, Calvin. Calvin, 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 has the same Calvin boxers. boy. Whatever. whatever. Yeah, check me out. Calvin. Back to the, back to the, the thumbnail. Back to that groundbreaking garage. Just gonna be the thumbnail right here. Groundbreaking garage. So, what I'm trying to get at is that, um, well, the reason I want to kind of talk about the setup and that is because I feel like um, as of late, hold up. Yo! 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 Yo, cut that out! Hey, Johnny, can I get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? We're recording! Disrespect. Johnny, can I get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Can I get a peanut butter sandwich? No, we'll go eat after this. Call, you text Fatima, text Fatima. Tell her to get ready. We'll go eat after She's this. She's not gonna wake up. Why? We're gonna have to it's FaceTime. 1024. We're gonna have FaceTime on YouTube. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, I like I like when shit is nice and raw. You know what I'm saying? That's like I don't even like when I edit. I don't even like looking at everything else. I want it to be like as natural as possible. Yeah, I'm having yeah, a light. I'm having a great hair day. Are, you know, you need to start getting more fades. That's your problem. Like you need to start going to the the, the barber. Like at least like every what's it? How long is this? Three weeks? Two weeks. Damn, for real? Yo, your hair goes back quick, yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah. But uh, but there's now a lot of tools. I probably look like I, that. I too. like to keep my I like to get the fade clean. You feel me? But the problem for me is is that I don't live around here anymore. So it's kind of it's kind of a hassle. Like like I have to like Thursday. You can't get a barber over there. I'm not gonna go. To, you're not gonna run the battery there, man. I'm not. I'm just, I just, I just brought it up as like, you know, <laughs> you know, so like, I, you know, for me, usually like I do a Thursday, right? Cause I'm like, yo, Thursday, I won't go to the gym and I still got to be around here cause I got things to do around here. So I'll go get a cut, but I, pretty much it's the only day plausible for me to get it. But I can't be going every Thursday cause this Thursday I got other things to do. So that kind of kills me, you know? I'll get you. Okay. I actually have to ballot, ballot to go to the Ballot, you make it valid. But I wish, I wish I could get a permanent fade. Yeah, we all wish that. We all wish you could have a permanent, like, lazy, you know, like, lazy, like, permanent no, fade. No, uh, that's, that we won't get a fade. Okay, no, we're going to get a the fake. Whole, the whole point of a fade is a blend. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to get a fake, not a fake. <laughs> you're going to get a, you're going to get Balls, a. Balls, that's going to be balls. Uh, no, you're going to get a freaking, uh, what's that thing called? What the little kids get? <laughs> the mushroom. The mushroom top. That's how you're going to have a mushroom top. <laughs> the balls. Straight up. That's, uh, you're going to like the Cubans. Like, you know, the Cuban yeah, shit, yeah. everything. Oh, just need that. That's, man, like, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Oh man, so, so back to back, the groundbreaking yes, garage. Exactly. No, not groundbreaking garage. All right, man, fuck it. We keep it groundbreaking right, for I'll now. Let me That's the unofficial name. Let me look something else. It has to be something that, like, yo, is okay. The whole point what I'm trying to make is something relatable. Something that, okay, like, look, look at this. Look at this, right? People won't start certain things. Where are we looking? Like, for example, all right, look, this, this is what I'm about to show you, <laughs> pendejo. <laughs> all right, look. There's some people that won't start something because they don't have the equipment, right? Like, Oh, the reason I don't start, like, my beauty channel, my mm -hmm. beauty thing, is because I still don't have my ring light, and I don't have my, I don't know, what else, that, that's, that's the excuse I hear all the time. I don't have my ring light for the beauty stuff, or because I don't have the right camera, I don't have the right tripod, I don't have the right setup. Like, I understand all that, all that stuff matters, right? Because it goes into production. Yeah. I understand, right? I understand. And all of that stuff could be great. But what if your content just sucks? Right? Yeah. Or like what if what you're trying to do, what you yeah. think you're gonna like to yeah. do, doesn't even like come out to be something yeah. you actually like. Is it oh, it's like you know like when those movies where like the budget was crazy and the movie was trash? Yeah. It's like just like because, in Logan. Like in Logan. Like, yeah. like, just talking about like that. Batman versus Superman. Like that that budget was crazy. That was a pretty good. That was I, what was the budget? Like hundreds of millions? Yeah. Was it really? Yeah. yeah I, I could imagine. Yo, that budget was crazy. It was supposed to be like the groundbreaking entering of DC into the superhero world. Um you know, but like just the, you said yourself the budget does not dic does not like dictate the content. Does not dic dictate the benefit of it. Right, right. So, so yeah, that's what I'm trying to get. Like like what's behind it. So like look, for y'all trying to start something, you know, I get that it's scary. I get that Budget it's a was lot between of two hundred and fifty and three hundred million dollars. Uh, how much did it make though? Eight hundred seventy-three. Oh, but it did great. Yeah, but look, look <laughs> at, compared to something like it made hundreds of millions of dollars more. Budget of Black Panther. Oh yeah, but that thing did a, like over a billion. On the one hundred million. Two hundred million dollars. That was a hundred million. And it made one point three four billion yeah, dollars. Yeah, but but yeah, understand like Black Panther was a culture. Okay, movie. look look at Thor. Thor. Thor, what was the budget on Thor? It said the budget on Thor was 180 million. And I think that thing sold like 600, 600 or 700 million. So, I'm telling you. Marvel. I mean, yeah. that's Marvel whipping DC all day. Dude. Yeah, but I'm saying, you know, just no, saying. I get it, I get it. Well, yeah, but that's what I'm trying to get at. Like, man, it's, it's too much, um, too much bullshit is what I'm trying to get at. You know? What I'm trying to get at is, look, man, let's cut the shit out, right? And let's just get uh, plain, plain as we can, right? Um, we need to start being transparent with how we're really communicating these things to ourselves. Not to people, but just to ourselves, right? Because I feel like we put up too many obstacles in our own way. Mm -hmm. You get me? Before we actually start something, right? And I know that I guess it sounds like I'm very focused on like this like online platform type thing. But the reason I'm saying that is because as of late, I've gotten like, you know, a few messages, man. Like more and more get me of like questions and stuff like that. So it's just, it's, it, you know, uh, the what I hear the most is just, yo, you just got to start, man. Like honestly, you just got to start. And yeah. and don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say, then look, that's another airplane. I'm not going to say you just got to start on a whim. You get me? 
Um, you. But I think sometimes you kind of do. Yeah, yeah. But like you know, it's it's like a like a. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a not. I don't <laughs> want to say like a win win, but it is a win, right? Because if you think about it too much, you're gonna discourage yourself. If you think about it too much, you're gonna come up with all these ex- good excuses as to why you shouldn't do it. Right. Uh, also, you kind of need to do it in a way because you don't know what you're getting yourself into, right? right? So you can't really plan for everything, right? Like, how do we yeah. plan for planes? For what? Uh, planes. Yeah, how do we plan, like, you know, for, like, topic ideas all the time, every five seconds? No, it's just our life, what we're going through. You know, the reason, one, one of the things we emphasize doing, 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 is because we want to live our lives doing. Mm-hmm. We don't just want to talk about, yo, well, I want to travel here and I want to, no. I want to take pictures there and be there. I want to be yeah. present in the moment and live the life, yeah. you know? And the same concept <laughs> is, is with this, like, you know, this has to extend in your life and in your mindset. When, when George says doing, it's beyond doing a podcast, beyond doing, is doing your life because this is a reflection of your life. If you put excuses for something as small as this, trust me, you're putting excuses for your home future and you're playing yourself. Yeah, I like that. That's deep. No, that's real too. Like, it's, it's, that, that's so true. I didn't even, you know, I didn't even look at it in that light. But when you kind of think about it, yeah, like if you put um, excuses for the little things like that, then you're definitely going to start putting excuses in your own life that you're going to yeah. start blocking yourself from mm-hmm. certain things. That's so true, man. Like, And I was thinking today, like, you know, a lot of times we we kind of are so afraid to fail that we never try. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, 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 seriously, like, yo, I understand. Like, believe me, I get it. You know what I mean? I, I can could, I could yeah. relate to you in, in a certain kind of level. But you also need to understand, man, that if you want it bad enough, there's this all you can ever do, right, in this life. Anything you can ever do is pick something and work hard at it. Mm-hmm. And that's it. You know what I mean? Success is never promised. You know what I mean? No matter how hard you work, no matter how cool you are or how famous mm-hmm. you are, success is not, you know what I mean? Like, that's not ever promised. Like, you know what I mean? Like, hard work is just like, okay, I'm getting a step closer to possibly becoming something, right? I, I just thought about two quotes that I heard in a podcast today, just as you were speaking. One of them was, uh, you know... You got to learn to fail forward. What's that mean? With meaning like, you know, if you fail and you learn, it wasn't a failure. You're moving up. You're moving uh, forward. You're yeah, no longer yeah, where you used yeah. to be because now at least you know this didn't work yeah, out. Yeah, right? Yeah. And, and, and you, then choose, I, yeah. you choose to like learn. And, and the other thing is um, that I was saying is, you know, we shouldn't compare, right? Because everybody has different stories. But uh, we shouldn't compare, compare harvest, like the result. But we should compare hustle. Mm. I like that, yeah. Because, you know, people are like, oh, don't compare, or, period. Or, 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 or people compare, like, the stupid things that don't actually matter. Like, oh, look, but this person has money, this person has no, no. Because they have different stories. So don't compare the harvest. Don't compare the end result. Where, but compare compare the hustle. The hustle. Because you might have started out here and you're here. Mm-hmm. And I might have started here and I'm only here. Mm-hmm. Technically, you did more than I did. Straight up. I like that. That's like when I tell you I jump higher than you. Because yeah. I get off the ground more than... Cut! <laughs> Cut! <laughs> and he's like, yeah... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a recording outside. I'm gonna prove to this guy that I grabbed that rim and he barely touches that. My my argument with that is that my feet explode off the ground higher than your feet do. So that that that's basically yeah. like I, I tell me I jump higher than you because your reach is higher than mine. Yeah. Whatever. That's not, that, that, so the point here is, look, I love I love where you're going with that, and I love what you said because it's facts. Like you know, look, guys, we want we have something right. Uh, some type of vision, something, right, for I'm down. Mm-hmm. We don't know. Like, I tell Chris all the time, like, you know, in my mind, 10 or 15 years, maybe we blow up. You get me? In my mind, that's the, that's the, that's the goal. You get me? I don't expect, like, yo, six months, yo, we're not we're not doing anything, bro. Let's quit. A year later, we're not doing it. Let's quit. Like, no, man. It's, it's something that, you know, you have to pick something that you genuinely enjoy doing. Mm-hmm. You get me? Because... It's about the process anyways. Yeah, you know? yeah. Look, the end goal is cool, right? Like, let, 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 let me give you a perfect example right now. Let's say you win the lottery right now, right? And you get, whatever, fucking $50 million, $100 million, right? You're a millionaire. Cool. You know what I mean? But I want you to know that you never, nobody will ever respect you probably for the rest of your life as far as your hustle. Probably. Not saying that they're not. Unless you learn probably. to flip that and make it work. Is that even if you do, it's not, it's, you think... They're gonna be like, hey, they gave you that. Like, yeah, but, but think about it. If you if you become such a gangster, like you turn fifty million into one billion, it's not hard. That's not. That's kind of hard. No, right? yo, they gave. Or think about it like this, Chris. You're living your life every single day, right? You make twenty thousand dollars a year, thirty thousand dollars a year, ninety thousand dollars a year, whatever, right? You live your life regular, and out of nowhere, 
you fucking win the lottery for fifty million dollars, mm-hmm. right? Yo, if you're smart, and I'm gonna say you're smart, and you make the choice of okay, you know what? I'm gonna continue to live my regular lifestyle how I've been living it this whole time, right? I'm gonna take those fifty million dollars. I'm gonna talk to people here and there, advisors, and let's see what happens with this money. And you flip that money. You can flip that fifty million into a billion. Yeah. You know I mean, in the matter of years or whatever, years, 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 you can do that. But I mean, at least for me personally. I'm not gonna say you're dumb or nothing, no, but I it, I can't respect the hustle. Like it's yeah. it's almost like you they gave it to you. Like you know I'm what I'm saying? Like, that's what you're saying. Like that end result matters if you got fifty million dollars because you started from the bottom, you made a company, you make you built that company up to this, and now you now this company is worth a hundred million, two hundred million. I can respect that because that's real hustle. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I'm I'm not saying that you didn't hustle when you got the fifty million dollars and flipped it. Okay, cool. But I'm just saying like you you got the price so. The point that I guess, at least in my eyes, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, it's about the process. You get me? It's about the struggles. I want people to see that, yo, when you first started, like, for example, when people always tell me, like, I don't want to start because, you know, the quality, like, yo, to be honest with you, the first video we ever did, if you ever go back right now, I mean, look, I'm not saying that right now it's like, oh my God. No, but it's compared to that. But compared to that, it's horrible. Like, the lighting was bad. The blurriness. The blurriness was bad. Like, yo, it was just not fly but i want people to see yo where you where we started and where we end up five years from now ten years from now whatever you get me like that that that's what i want to see because people relate to the growth you get me people like yeah you know, if you pull up in you know like that that's why like these rich people these re- people like trust fund kids don't really get the respect that some of them kind of deserve because some of them really did bust their yeah. ass to get somewhere. And that's what I'm trying to say. The respect, you know, is be here and there because you have a chip on your shoulders. Like, hey, your dad gave you everything yeah. or whatever, right? And then, you know, it's it's different variances to yeah. this, but people just relate more. To the underdog. Exactly. And relate more to like, yo, you started from down here just like I did yeah. or maybe I'm in a better situation than you are or worse, whatever. And you built it up, and that that's that's it, man. We see that time and time again. Right? And look, if you look at um, unfortunately, right, like Connor lost this past weekend. I mean, we saw it coming, but yeah, but you know, but I mean, let's look at Connor's story, right? Connor's was he didn't come from money, yeah, he came right? from slums, yeah, right, from like the hood in Ireland, living on um, what was it? welfare, right? That that's that's what it's called or whatever in, in yeah, Ireland welfare, welfare yeah. right? Living off of welfare welfare checks training working hard whatever 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 and one thing that he that i saw in the interview he said that was so like um important to me and, and dana said the same thing on another interview was like yo like all you can ever do is is that like you know you you work hard you you give it your all 100 percent, and you're going to be successful yeah. like it's going to happen you get me like it's and i like that mindset because like damn like it's you just got to keep pushing right remember i told you like yo some people they might have worked for three years, four mm-hmm. years, and they're just about to make it. Like, they're about to pop off, and right before, like, yeah. yo, like, one week, bro, they would have popped yeah. off in one week. One but decision, they stuck. one investment, yeah. one door. Exactly, but they, but they decided yeah. to quit right yeah. before, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like imagine if you're running a race, right? Mm-hmm. But you have blinds in front of you, right? But you're running this race. You're hauling ass, you're busting your ass, you train, whatever. You're running this race, and, bro, you're like, Five feet away from the finish line. And right before that, he's like, fuck, bro. I've been running too long. Fuck this shit. Like, I'm going to leave. Fuck yeah. I'm going to quit. But you were right there about to finish. Yo, like, you know, man, everything is mindset, bro. And this is what I mean by this This whole setup. It's just mindset, bro. We're l- using a lamp from my little sister's room that's bright enough. I know, I know how you said little sister, but she's taller than you. She's actually not taller than me. She's almost as... As tall as I am. Yeah, exactly. That's really good. <laughs> I just say something as tall as that, but you guy, I'm sure God, I guess. Whatever, fuck it. Like, you know, it's funny. I actually never knew, I was just telling him, I never knew I was actually a short person until I was in the office where I work at. I'm like, yo, why every woman, why is every woman in here taller than me? Like, why? <laughs> and you know, it's funny. I think they're taller than you, too. I'm not even going to lie. Nah, like not know. all of them, not, not all of them, <laughs> but some of those women, Chris, trust me. Bro. If I look up and I and I gotta look up my girl, my head in the neck. I don't support. Not, I, I don't support physical abuse. That, I don't but see. I'm a head in the neck. You know, I don't just see you that tall. I guess that's probably. I'm, I, don't I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm tall either. But like to most girls, you are. At least to most girls around us. Because you know what it is that for a Hispanic guy, I'm tall. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. That's what it is. So like, like they compare me to their dad. 
like yeah, Tio Jorge, yeah, Tio yeah, Pedro, yeah, Tio whatever. First facts, of all, facts, they're facts. like five feet tall. Compared facts, to him, facts. I'm Yao Ming, true, you know? True, true, <laughs> true. Yeah, I mean, whatever, man. That's not the point here, right? The point here is that, yeah. you know... The point just, is, if you don't quit, this. you win. Yes, I know, basically. The cookie cutter, if you don't quit, you win. And it's only here, bro. It's only here. Like, I, I, I realized, bro, like, um, you know, we're, a lot of us are dealing with, you know, some kind of mental illness, some kind of anxiety, some kind of depression, something, right? And... And there's something that's so, like, it's so big right now, right? There's something that's floating around so much right now. And I understand, I, well, I don't want to say I understand. We all have a level of anxiety, right? You know, like, right when you're about to, like, let's say, preach at church, you get, like, you know, these these nerves in your stomach, you know what I'm saying? But, but you know why. Yeah, but the thing is, you know what's funny? At least in that, in that specific setting, I worry when I don't feel that. Mm, right, right, right. It's like, why am I, because it's not, like, a big deal no more? No, because to me it's like, uh, if I don't feel that, that means I'm not understanding the weight of the privilege I got. Mm, damn, I like that. Yo, I'm going to quote you today, bro. Yeah, like no, that. I'm telling you real talk because there's settings where I don't want to feel anxious. Yeah. But there's settings, like, and that's one of them. Another setting is, is uh, you know, uh, when when I got, like, a big project coming up, if I don't feel anxious, then I don't, then, you know, it's, kind of, it's like I don't, I want to be anxious because yeah. anxious pushes me to give whatever I got. Yeah, yeah, it does. When, when you're too confident, sometimes you just kind of go on cruise control. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to do cruise control things that actually matter, you know? Right, right. I'd rather, so some anxiety, I don't, I don't think it's bad. I just think yeah. when we let our anxiety consume us, then is the danger. Yeah, exactly. No, then I completely agree. Look, each and every one of you, I think that we're all in here as human beings. And no one human being is better than the other. I think we're all literally created equal. And I mean yeah. that in in yeah. the realest sense yeah. because, yeah. Like, like Chris said, stop comparing the harvest, right? And you can go ahead and relate that to stop comparing what skill Chris has to the skill that you have. You get me? Chris is a super smart guy, right? Super big brain. I'm not a smart guy. I'm not, I don't have a, you know, Chris is like the straight A student. I'm literally the DNF student. But, you know, Chris has things that make him special, that make him, you know, a unique human being to be able to influence a certain group of people or a multitude of people, whatever. And George has a certain, you know, set of skills or whatever, you get me, that could be used to influence this other group, you get me? And, and you know, we all have something, you get me? Yeah, so stop so, sorry for somebody else's stuff. What's in you? Exactly. That that that's what we have to be looking for. You know, what is within you? You get me? Your thing might be ninja turtles. You get me? Your things might be I don't know, the three little bears. Your your thing might be something way different and you might be able to make something amazing out of it. You get me? There's like like we said a long time ago that we had a freaking we never even aired that. Yeah, but no, we said but the slime. cool thing, yeah, you know I'm going to slime. You know, there's people that make slime and, and, and you know, let's not put a dollar mark on this, you get me? Because even though those people that make slime made millions or whatever. Let's stop putting dollar signs to what we're really, what we're really passionate about. I think yeah. that that's a big mistake too. Look, Shit. we forget about life being life. That you have to live it. Life is not about what your friends, what your mom, and what other people are gonna say about your life. You get me? Like your your how much you make. Like, look, I a hundred percent agree that our friends, our family are number one. You get me? Or well, after God, right? You know, in in that sense. But you know. We need to start trying to flex for people that we don't even care about. That's number one. Because I would say that your friends, your friends honestly don't care. Like, yo, if I'm, like, yo, I can tell Christian, like, yo, I'm negative $300 in my bank account. Chris is not going to stop being my friend because I'm negative 300 in my bank I'm account. Because I'm negative 500 so. Right. Okay. So it's like, you know, it's like, it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm saying, like, if your friends are really your friends, they're not going to care whether you're rich, broke, whatever. If they're really your friends, they're going to really yeah. be your friends. And the same thing goes for your family. Other people outside of that, why are we trying to impress them? Because that's what we do. Dude, let's be honest. Most of the time, that's exactly what we try to do. We try to impress other people that we really don't care about with money that we really don't have. You get me? So let's stop putting that little price tag and let's start thinking about life as as something long term. You get me? And what is it that you want to do that's going to make you truly happy, that's going to make you passionate? Mm -hmm. Where Once you find that by tasting, by trying different things, then attack it. You get me? Give your all into it. Yeah. Put a hundred percent. If you work a nine to five, come back home and bro, that from seven o'clock to two o'clock a.m. Put in the work. You get me? Put in the work and just do what you have to do. But attack something yeah. that's gonna make you happy. If your nine to five makes you happy, 
You won. You don't need to watch this anymore. Click out right now. You get me? Just, just click out right now. But if you're still wondering, yo, life still has something else for me, it probably does. Nine times out of ten. And if you're in your 20s right now, like us, and we talk about this all the time, our struggles with, yo, are we doing enough? Mm -hmm. Where, Where's our life going to end up? You know, are we moving correctly? Should we do this? Should we do that? We talk about that all the time. And it's, that's part of life, man. You yeah. get me? It's just, life is all a bunch of choices that you made. You get me? And that's and that's all we can ever do. Yeah. I think uh, I think you closed it off right there. My last thought would be at two points. One is, you know, life was never meant to be about striving. It was about to be overcoming. Right? Striving is just, I'm just trying to get by. Overcoming is, it's a challenge. You know, whatever is within me can be better out through this challenge. And the second thing I would say to you, you know, there's, there's a Bible verse that I love, I love, love. It says, do not despise small beginnings. Do not despise. Because a lot of us, we hate the beginning because it doesn't have the right setup. It doesn't have the right amount of, in the bank. It doesn't have the right relationship, the right moment, the right place, the right time, the right this. Don't despise that. Because that is what's going to make your story so much more impactful. Because there's certain scars, there's certain stuff, there's certain things you've gone through that will only intensify the success later you mm -hmm. get me so don't despise where you are now just look at it as a launching pad to where you're going next and, and i think with that i would say you know there's nothing left to be said there really is a man so you know once again guys we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for those of you that support us on every video if you're new and you're watching this now thank you so much if you want to keep watching more subscribe uh, go follow us on the podcast. We're you know on Spotify, that's a iTunes. I, love, I still care. That's I still love dope. That. I love that's that. Still dope. Honestly, that was one of the goals that we had. Like at first, like yo, if we could get that. Remember and that? we thought it was gonna take forever. Yeah, we really did, and so dope. Yeah. So you could catch us again on Spotify, iTunes. If you have Google Play, which I probably don't need to, but if you do, you could catch us on there. Uh, we still haven't done anything, <laughs> anything about SoundCloud. You know That's so one, bad. One day, I'm going to drop a, like, a, like a song on SoundCloud. It's going to be like the start of our official SoundCloud thing. Is that, I'm not going to lie. Dude, we have over 40 videos and podcasts. Yeah. To upload all and of that SoundCloud, oh, man. would be a headache. Yeah, we have to get to it yeah, at one point. Yeah, yeah. We will, For guys. Sure. We understand that, you know, the more platforms we're on, if one day we can get... The transcribing, which I actually think, and I'm gonna talk to you about that. We actually can through Buzzsprout. Shout out to Buzzsprout. We probably will get that transcribed. So you know, as as many platforms as we could give it to you guys on, we're gonna try that. We're gonna keep pushing. Yeah. But again, not to make this super long. Thank you guys for supporting. We love you guys. We appreciate you guys. We appreciate you guys supporting us, and we want to continue to support you guys. So if you guys wanna continue to ask questions, drop comments down below. You can do that. Interact with us. Hey. Find that niche, find that thing, push man, till next time.